Mike! Tell me something I don't know, Ump. Well, unlike that nasty curveball, there aren't any surprises when you finance your next car with Carvana. You get real terms personalized for you right in your strike zone. Really? Steer right! Well, how am I supposed to focus when you're telling me about Carvana? Well, Slugger, you gotta keep your eye on the ball. Just like you can keep an eye on your customized down and monthly car payments. I can customize those? He's out and on his way to finance his next car with Carvana. Visit Carvana.com or download the app to get pre-qualified today. We'll drive you happy at Carvana. With the announcement last week that Dave Reichert is running for governor, all eyes turn to a remaining candidate. Dr. Raul Garcia announced that he was dropping out from the gubernatorial race. Instead, he's going to make a go at the Senate race, challenging Senator Maria Cantwell. Joining me on the line is Semi Bird, who is, in fact, still in the race. Welcome back to the show. Thank you for having me, Jason. Are you, in fact, still in the race? (laughs) Absolutely, I am. You know, in fact, uh, I've received a lot of calls from pundits representing the establishment and uh, asking me to step down, move to a different position, lieutenant governor, OSPI, or something of the mat. And what I say to them, and I'll say to you and your listeners, this is a commitment. This is a commitment that was brought about by the request of the people, not the request of the key aristocracy of the GOP establishment. And so in representation of the people and all those small dollar donations I have received, I remain steadfast to our mission to unite Washington state, to actually get out there, reach those individuals who have felt forgotten and ignored for too long. And I wanna say just real quick, Jason, You know, the establishment on both sides have been playing the citizens of Washington state. The left has made promises for decades to people of color, people within the inner city, and they continually fail to deliver while the GOP establishment flat out ignored them and did nothing. We are not going to do it. We are steadfast. We are dedicated. And we have a light at the end of the tunnel and a vision to save Washington state. I I think the issue is less so about the, you know, the the quote unquote political establishment as it is wanting to win this race, that they see Dave Reichert as a a better chance of even just going into the general. I I think you would concede that he certainly has a a bigger name uh, recognition than you do. Uh, It's changing, right? I mean, you're clearly getting more name recognition, certainly amongst Republicans, because you're campaigning so hard. But I think that's really what this is about, is that what you would be doing is taking away the chances of a Republican getting into the governor's mansion because they still see you as a long shot candidate. And I think that's a fair assessment at this point. You you still are a long shot. Well, I think it depends on which side or which lens you're looking through. You know, I I make the the argument that we came out November of last year. We have been going almost seven days a week, going out to the community, reaching not just one demographic, but all demographics, connecting with the people and the people are responding. And they're not just conservatives, but Democrats and independents and Muslims and Christians. Again, this state is represented by a diverse, diverse population. And our diversity is our strength. I realize that. And so we're doing that. And so here's what I would say to the folks who have this, this I, I want to say, Uh, different viewpoint. What has the establishment or name brand brought Republicans over the last 38 years? Nothing. How have career politicians done for Washington state over the last 38 years? Not well. And so what I say is now is the time to replace career politicians with career Americans. Now is the time to go back to that Gettysburg address of the people, by the people, for the people. It matters. And, Jason, I promise you this, my friend. You said it. Our name brand recognition is growing day by day. Power is inherent in the people, that Article 1, Section 1 of the Washington State Constitution. I want to make sure everybody understands that. And I want to say the people. It means all of the people. Those ones forgotten, those ones ignored, those ones discriminated against. We are representing everyone, and everyone, I believe, is going to speak up and support our movement because we are bringing transformative change to Washington State. And that's something that the other side, that, and when I say the other side, I'm going to take that away that the other establishment groups or special interest groups, they fail to understand. 
They have so, not been I guess winning. I, I just would push back a little bit at that because I, I don't consider mm-hmm. myself, uh, maybe you consider me an, an establishment group or a special interest group. Uh, I, I don't consider myself that. But, I mean, I hear your argument. It was the same argument that Lauren, Lauren Culp made during the last election, and he did not do well at all. And th- there was an argument, and I think that this is a valid argument, that if we yeah. had someone who was more, you know, quote unquote, mainstream, and we had plenty of those candidates, but because so many were running, they ended up splitting the vote and Lauren Culp ends up going in. Everyone kind of knew that Lauren Culp wasn't going to win. We still fought hard because we wanted him. He would have been better than Governor Jay Inslee. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. But he never really had a shot. And even just looking at the polling so far, and I say this in fairness, I don't particularly trust polls this early on, but they can be somewhat instructive. And Dr. Raul Garcia was ahead of you by a significant number, uh, and he had just come in kind of late to the game. Yeah, that's a great point. He was ahead by a significant number, but we still came in third. This is just by the way, for your listeners, of the Republican the progressive, yeah. the progressive Institute of Washington State, a liberal think tank yeah. who labeled me as an ultra mega Republican, the black man born in the ghetto without civil rights to a single woman with seven children who has worked his way up, who has navigated adversity his entire life to a position of representation, not just for conservatives or one demographic, but for all demographics. Mm-hmm. And I still was ahead of. Hillary Franz and Senator Mark Mullet. How was their name brand recognition on the West Side? So I ask you, my friend, and your viewers or your listeners to take that into consideration. We're just getting warmed up. And when we think about the power of the people, and I will say this in support of Lauren Culp for a minute to say, I'm not Lauren Culp. You could look at me. You can see we have different backgrounds, sure. but he sure as the heck surprised a lot of people and how he got the people he, he did. motivated uh, oh, and inspired. Yeah, and I think you're 100% correct there. There's no doubt that he energized the base of the Republican Party here in Washington State. But as you know, let's say you get 100% of the Republican vote. You still lose an election regardless of, of what it is you're running for when no, it's a absolutely. statewide office. You know, and, and he was not yeah, able absolutely. to bring over the, the King County voters or, frankly, Pierce and Snohomish County in numbers that he needed to in order to be competitive in large part because he – I think he labeled himself as sort of that, that so outside the mainstream candidate – that it, it turned a lot of people off and it certainly didn't have. And again, it's always going to be difficult regardless in King County to to get to the 40 percent that a Republican needs. There's no doubt it does. It, Dave Reichert's going to have similar issues. But, you know, he would he could at least come out and say, well, I've won in King County before. Oh, yes. And so you just made my point, my friend. You just clarified the difference between Simi Bird, Lauren Culp and Dave Reichert. I'm actually going into those city, inner city neighborhoods. I'm actually valuing those people. And by the way, I am those people. I come from those neighborhoods. I started out there. I don't forget who I am or where I come from, but I also will not forget my values, my beliefs, and I will not compromise my values or my beliefs in order to manipulate people into voting for me. I want to give it to the citizens of Washington State. Bring Are you truth. arguing that Lauren was doing that, or you're saying that other candidates have done that? What, what I'm saying is that Simi Bird is actually going into those communities and valuing those citizens' voices, whereas other candidates on the GOP side have not done it. And, Jason, you know what's a fact. It's hmm. not my opinion. How many Republican candidates have you seen in the past who intentionally, who made it a part of their strategy – walking into those inner cities, knocking on those doors, meeting with those black and brown groups Mm -hmm. who have felt forgotten for so many decades. Tell me one. I don't I I don't I don't know if I can tell you specifically the, you know, the quote unquote inner city. And I would argue that in large part, that's probably because there are not that many votes there. There's still Washington state and the white population is uh, considerably high and the black population is considerably low. I I do think that Lauren Culp went into King County. That's certainly true. I I don't know how often he did it, but he was certainly coming in to King County. He had some events in King County. Uh, You know, were they uh, successful? (laughs) No, clearly not. I think, again, Republicans are going to have a a hard time regardless. But for Dave Reichert, he's won elections in King County. So for for him, we could at least acknowledge that he does go into King County. I 
imagine he will in the gubernatorial race. He has to. He can't get around. There's no statewide candidate that can get around going into King County, right? I mean, at the end of the day, regardless of the candidate. Absolutely. No, and that's why we're there every single week. Snohomish County, King County, Pierce County. And I would ask that question, and it's rhetorical. Where has the great establishment saviors been during CHOP, CHAZ, the shutdown of our businesses, the shutdown of our schools, the shutdown of our places of worship? Where were those votes when people were being marginalized, discriminated against, when our children's innocence were being compromised and parents' rights were being abused and, 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 and again, trampled upon? Where were these voices, these establishment voices who have those records of winning Well, people still needed representation. People still need representation. And I'm here to bring representation to all demographics of Washington state without compromising values, beliefs, but uniting people together on common values of human decency. Finally, to put people over politics because we have been let down by both sides, both sides of the establishment. And so, yeah, I am literally the people, the person of the people, for the people, by the people. From from your campaign perspective, what does it look like to be on the right path once we get closer to the convention in Washington State? And I think I asked you this question before. I don't remember what your answer was, frankly. Uh, It was uh, the the, the state party has basically said we're going to hold a convention and whomever uh, of the votes gets the endorsement uh, internally, that's the candidate that we're going to back. Would you no, absolutely are do, are your plans to adhere to those rules or to that request? Absolutely, I guess? absolutely, and we're winning. So instead of waiting, because you noticed some of these saviors, they waited until Jay Inslee determined whether he was going to run or not. So he controlled the battlefield, so to speak. I come from Special Forces Intelligence and Operations, so we don't wait for the other side to determine what we do. We take proactive measures. We write strategy, plan, and then we execute with laser precision. To to that end, to answer your question directly, we are already winning six county endorsements who have stepped up bravely, those precinct committee officers and those party leaders in those counties who understand we need different representation instead of continuing to put forth the same strategy that loses every single election. We are winning six counties and it's growing every single week. So we'll be ready next April to win that, uh, you know, that gathering of conservative minds. And what I say to this We are not waiting for that. And I'm not just looking at conservative votes. I'm looking at independent votes, unhoused Democrat Democrat votes, and those citizens who want someone to actually deal with the lawlessness, to actually deal with the homelessness, actually bring those gas prices down and give tax relief to the citizens of Washington State. We are going to bring common sense back. And the same old, same old career politicians are going to do the same old, same old thing. Well, we the people are not going to wait. And when we say we the people, we are all of the people of Washington State. And there's a lot of time uh, between now and April, so we'll see how this all shapes up. Again, the website is birdforgovernor.com. It's all spelled out, bird, F-O-R, governor.com. Send me bird. Thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank you, brother. You are listening to The Jason Ranch Show. 2022 was Toys for Tots 75th anniversary and also their record-breaking year, distributing over 24 million toys to nearly 10 million less fortunate children. Toys for Tots is not just a Christmas time charity. They're a year-round force for good. Thanks to their supporters, Toys for Tots is able to support children in need beyond Christmas time through their year-round programs. You can make a difference today. Learn more about their year-round force for good at toysfortots.org.